Good evening. Good evening. And may the force be with you. We are only a few weeks out from May celebration on this channel, which means lots of Star Wars and Morrowind content. But I thought tonight we would do something a little bit different on this channel, and we would actually do something technical. We're going to try some technical IT stuff. Yes. Um, we are... Yep. Turns out I'm joined today by a special visitor. No, not Shayna. She's been on this channel a lot. No, I'm talking about my good friend, um, R3EV, who is joining us tonight. Sorry about the poor lighting tonight. But yeah, so um, Galaxy's Edge. They have the Droid Depot. We already talked about that when I did my big Galaxy's Edge review after my Disney World vacation last year. But around Galaxy's Edge, there's a whole bunch of interactivity spots, some that connect to the data pad, some that connect to the droids. And unfortunately, because our Droid Depot appointment was late evening and then the family was rushing us to dinner right afterwards, we didn't get a chance to check out the droid interactivity. So I always wondered about that. And so um, for a long time, I was wondering, is there a way to simulate the, uh, the droid beacons at home? And I learned about a Windows 10 app. And I, as I was getting ready to download and install the Windows 10 app, that's when the laptop decided to die. And then I uh, looked around and people had made a... People have made third-party homemade solutions. The thing that all of these had in common, of course, was Bluetooth. And I looked into it, and the droids were on Bluetooth technology. And the droid, there's actually a Droid Depot app on the phone, which functions as an alternate remote if you lost your Droid Depot remote. So everything works through Bluetooth, and all these different um, Disney interactivity spots around Galaxy's Edge work on Bluetooth. So what I did... Is I as I as I did some more research and it went nowhere, so I let it go for a few months. But then I started, but then I started realizing, hey, if this is Bluetooth, that's something that's common in cell phones. Maybe there's a way to make these solutions run in an app. And I asked around, and as it turns out, somebody actually did figure out how to do this. So. We are going to attempt to set up Yep, that's right. We're going to attempt to set up fake Galaxy's Edge droid beacons in my phone based on the instructions that I received this morning on my inquiry. So, um, there was a little YouTube tutorial video. I watched that earlier and it linked to this map that somebody made of the different beacon codes and their locations throughout Galaxy's Edge. This map is based on Disneyland, but Disneyland and Disney World gives the same gives pretty much the same layout for Black Spire Outpost. So we should be able to figure it out. And as you can see, there's uh, some codes on the left here. Um, there's there's some codes here, each code corresponding to one of the seven different sound, sound sets. Each droid personality um, each, dro each droid personal personality, and some of the personalities are coded into personality chips. R3 EV here just has the basic R2 personality because he has no chip. But each personality has seven different sound groups that are triggered by the seven different um, beacon conditions. So there's seven different signals, each broadcasting at one or more places around Galaxy's Edge. And each signal corresponds to a different sound group within the dro within the droid's personality programming. And then there's two here that have this. You'll you'll notice the codes are the same except for this identifier number in the middle. But there's two here that have a slightly different identifier number in the middle. These these are the same as the five and seven sound groups, but uh, there's something about these codes that makes them broadcast a little bit differently and. Nobody's sure what, or the guy who made this map wasn't sure what. So we're going to 
First, I'm going to come back over here to the camera real quick, and I'll show you. Here's an app on my phone. This is called NRF Connect. This allows us to monitor Bluetooth signals that the phone detects. And it can actually broadcast Bluetooth signals as well. Not just me hitting R3's uh, sound effect button, R3 EV's remote sound effect button so that we can keep him alive. Because he times out after five minutes of that. The Droid Depot droids time out and auto shut down after five minutes of, uh, of inactivity. But if we make even one of these beacons work, that's basically going to keep resetting the uh, counter indefinitely. And he'll, he should theoretically never shut down if I keep the broadcast going. So here is... And I know there's some glare and reflection. Here is my, uh, I'm attempting to show you here. Maybe this camera will be better. There's reflection no matter what I do. But there's an app called NRF, NRF Connect. It, it lets you look at the Bluetooth uh, signals come that the phone or within detecting range of the phone. And now I'm going to go into the app. And there's a place here at the top which says Advertiser. I don't know if you can see that. If I hold it close enough, it won't reflect the screen. But we're going to go into Advertiser. It says No Saved Configurations. But this is where we're going to input one of these codes and see if it creates a broadcast signal. So new advertising packet, and we have seven of these to create, so let's just see. The one signal looks like it's at Droid, inside Droid Depot, inside Doc Ondar, and in the marketplace. So I guess this is shops. Two is the oil bath behind the Droid Depot. So two will specifically call Droid Depot. C is the three is the resistance area. Four, they weren't sure where it was. We think it's Rise of the Resistance. At least that's what he says in the video. Not sure if that's been confirmed or not. So five is outside the marketplace in Droid Depot again. Um, I think somebody says this might correspond to Savvy's as well. Somebody else on the thread on the thread commented that. And then the six is specifically Doc Ondar's, and seven is the first order. And then these two are the variant of five is, um, and the variant of seven, our Oga's cant Cantina. So we are going to start with, all right, we know two is the Droid Depot and only the Droid Depot. So I'm going to go into the app. Give me a moment to set this up. Display name, Droid Depot. And then advertising data, add record. Oh, shoot. Um, there's options. I don't remember how to do this. I don't remember this part from the video. Um, Give me a minute to remember how to do this part. Service ID name. Ah, service data. That's what we need. Ah, here's where we put the data. So the all right, we got a hex data line. I don't know. Let me see. We got a hex data line, which is good. This is where I'm going to attempt to put in the code for Droid Depot. So that's 0x, and then it's 0A0402, and the 02 is the important part, 02A601. I'm so glad somebody else did the mapping for me because I would have no idea how to do this other part myself. 
and we'll call this Droid Depot. It's not letting me add it. So let me just do copy. Oh, he just did the five minutes auto shutdown. All right, let me uh, figure this out. Okay, I don't know why it's not letting me input this. All right, let me do a quick Google. Meanwhile, we'll power them back up in a moment. All right, what are we searching? NRF Connect, how to create advertising. Okay, that's not helping me. All right, well, well, well how do I? All right, so the Bluetooth device address is what we. Hmm. All right. Ah, oh, shoot. All right, that's not what we're looking for. All right, tell you what, we're going to, I'm gonna bounce back to that other YouTube video real quick. Uh, I'm gonna do this in another screen so that you don't see my personal data. All right, so enjoy this map for a little bit longer. Oh, somebody's already completed a customization of the new BD droid that just came out last week. Interesting. Took. Oh, this community works fast. All right, let me go to the YouTube video real quick and see what I'm supposed to enter here. Brake system should be inspected regularly. Low energy devices um, to create your own beacons outside of using just your phone. Okay, uh, here's where he talks about the app. We'll be posting manufacturer ID, which for this is 0183, and then this will the resistance data will be 0A04. All right, all right, that's what I missed. 0183, Disney's manufacturer code. So let me come back over here to our map 
and we will try this again. Add record, manufacturer 0183, and I will copy that hex back in. And now it's letting me hit OK. And we will turn and we will turn the signal on. So as you can see from the camera, I have just put in the Droid Depot signal. It, I put in the data, turned it on. Now we're going to reset R3 and turn them on and see what happens. Actually, I'm going to turn off the signal first. All right, that was, that was just me hitting the sound effect button on his remote. But we have, but now, now that we've turned it back on, let's turn on the signal and see if it works. And sometimes you have to wait. I think they're on like a two minute timer. So I've just turned the Droid Depot signal on for my phone. I'm not touching the remote here. I'll keep my hands up here so you can see I'm not touching anything. And we will see if in the next two minutes he makes a reaction. And if not, we'll try one of the other codes. It's a 0183 I had forgotten about before. That's Disney's, um, that's Disney's overall Bluetooth ID code that you need to make any of these other codes work. <laughs> It worked. Did you see that? He just reacted to something. I'm going to turn off that signal and input one of these others now. All right, let's put in three. That's the resistance. New advertising packet. Resistance. Add record. Manufacturer. 0183. We will just copy the hex data and I'll replace the digit zero. I will replace the digit in question. We have built the resistance beacon. Let's turn it on. So um, resistance, we're going to turn it on. Oh, sweet! He reacted right away, right there. Let's wait the two minutes and see if he goes off again. Because we've got seven of these beacons to make. Moving forward, he looks like he's trying to go off the desk here. All right, so this is the resistance base that we have turned on right now. Yo, sweet. <laughs> All right, let's turn off resistance. Let's go ahead and add the first order, which is the number seven one. First order. Add record. Zero one eight three. Paste our string. Change the broadcast uh, ID to the number seven one. And let us turn on the first order signal. All 
Oh, sweet. He's scared of that one. That's just because he has the default, uh, he has the default personality. Now, if you had a first order personality chip in there, he'd probably be getting very excited on that one. All right, what do I want to make next? <laughs> We still need, we need the Doc Ondar one. So, uh, add Doc Ondar. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go into that shop, and it was like one of the things I was most looking forward to, but whatever. Something new for me to discover at Galaxy's Edge next time, I guess. Uh, and that is the number six. Okay, that one works. Okay, we got three more beacons to build here, and then we'll just, we can just have fun with this guy. It's working. It's working. All right, uh, what's left? We did, we did the, this, uh, we, we did the Droid Depot, we did the Resistance, we did six and seven, so we need four, five, and one. Four is the one they didn't know, so I'm going to call this one rise because we think it's from the rise of the resistance area actually i'm gonna call it rides because i heard i i seen in the comment thread somebody thought this may be in the falcon queue as well so we're gonna call it rides and we need to add the data and then the manufacturing code is four. Uh, it's it's showing. And like I said, they don't always come up right away. We may have to wait the two minutes on this one. Okay, maybe we didn't have to wait the two minutes. Okay, so we've got two more. This little market area which I heard one person describe as shops and another person described as strongest around savvies. So we'll just call this one market. And then we also have, uh, there was the number five, which we're going to call cantina. Let's do the cantina next. So let's turn on the cantina beacon. Okay. So far, they're all working. We just have one more to beacon to build into my phone, and that's this market beacon.
when the market is number one. All right, let's just wait a bit. So, yep. All right. I we got seven working beacons built into this phone now. Look at this. We've got a list here. Let's do something crazy. Let's turn all of them on simultaneously and see what happens. Okay, give me a minute. I'm getting a phone call. Yeah. Hello? I just wanted to give you the news, bro. What? So starting tomorrow, I'm at your house for a month straight. Oh, that's awesome. I'm actually streaming right now, so everybody just heard you say that. That's How really awesome. How y'all doing? Hope y'all doing good. My nephew's moving in with us. Yay! Uh, Um, bring bring your droid with you. R three needs a friend, and I've just set up the Galaxy's Edge beacons on my phone. All right, all right, all right, bye. All right, so he got a droid. Both my nephews got droids when we were at Droid Depot as well, and so I'm gonna show him what when he comes back tomorrow. I'm gonna show him what I just did on my phone here. Meanwhile, we have all the signals turned on. Let's keep the cam going on R3 for another couple minutes. We're at the half hour mark, but we've achieved today's objective. Which, th which means, as long as the beacons stay alive, no more auto shutdown. Oh, I will have to turn off my phone at some point, or at least the app. So yeah, I can't keep this running 24-7, but this is a... <laughs> It's nice being able to see him talk without me having to hit the remote now. That's cool. That's cool. Shane is going to love this. Shana loves R3. But now that he talks without needing the remote. And there's another thing you can do with droids too, where if you have two droids next to each other, They'll broadcast to each other, so you don't even need the beacons. They'll keep each other awake and not do the auto shutdown. I've seen it in a couple of YouTube videos. But um, I don't have a second droid here. But if Javi brings his droid over when he moves in tomorrow, then R3 will have a friend, and we can test that out off, off stream. Just going to wait, see if he responds to any more beaconing. I have all the beacons turned on right now, so um, there's no way to know which one he's reacting to at any given time, but we will, let's take it down to just the Droid Depot one. All right, well, I still have one beacon, just the Droid Depot beacon left on, the, his home factory where he was created. All right, we'll turn off that beacon too. I'll reach under. Well, I'm not going to turn him off just yet. But hey, I'll consider tonight a success. We created the beacons. I think I'm going to kill stream here because I'm tired. And I really just wanted to come in on here and do that. So, 
that's just the uh, talking through the remote again. I've turned off the beacons. So let me see. Anybody to raid tonight? Who's on? Hmm. Well, they told me not to raid. A couple of my favorites are on tonight, including the one who told me not to raid if I've if I don't have viewers. So, who do I prefer for tonight is the question. You know, we're going to raid Heavenly tonight. Uh, she hasn't been going as long as the other artists, so less of a chance of raiding out as soon as I raid in. That's been a problem lately. A lot of the people I've raided lately have been ending their shows right as I went in. So um, I didn't even get a chance to listen to their music before they were raiding out to someone else. I don't want to be on a raid train tonight, so we're going to raid Heavenly. Yes, R3, I know she's not as... Uh, famous as Gaia, but then again, these are Earth scale musicians and Gaia is famous on a galactic scale. Gaia, in case you didn't know, is the um, is the galactic pop star who's got an act on the Halcyon and who has a couple songs who are on DJ Rex's mix, mix list in Ogus Cantina. Yeah, I'll, I'll listen to her album eventually, but for now, let's just go see Heavenly. All right, tonight was fun, and I was totally expecting disaster, but we we figured it out. We got the uh, we figured out the Bluetooth signals. We created our Galaxy's Edge beacons. They work perfectly, or at least as perfectly as I can test with one droid, not knowing how they're supposed to work because I didn't experience them the first uh, properly when I was actually there. But yeah, we got things going. It works. For the BB units, which actually need to be taken apart to power them, um, they um, this can keep them awake so you don't have to take them apart as frequently. Tonight was successful. Let's go enjoy some good music. Oh, he's sad because it's time to go, but that's okay. The stream has to end sometime. All right, have a good night. Let's go enjoy some music. Have a good night. R3 says goodnight to everyone also. You'll see him again soon. I I gotta have him on the channel more often. Have a good night. I, I gotta have him on. Remind me. Yeah. Okay, I'm turning off that. I'm turning off that. Um, I'm turning off the, the 